Um, it's like it's like this this uh, Rob O'Reilly. I've done some shows with him. I don't know him. Um, he's on a cruise ship now. Now I don't know what happened, but he's on a Carnival cruise ship. So, um, you know, a woman f- takes out a f- phone, catch catches a guy saying, "If you don't like it, get the fuck out!" And the crowd goes crazy, going, "Yeah." Do you remember the whole thing about if you're easily offended, get the fuck out? I'm sorry I offended you, okay? But the fact that you are clearly sensitive means you should just leave. Just leave. So she posts that video with the caption, guy says the N-word throughout his whole set. And when somebody complained there, yelled at him about it, he said, get the fuck out if you don't like it, if you're offended. And the crowd goes crazy. Now, this guy's name has been dragged through the mud, Rob O'Reilly, um, a ton. He lost his job at Carnival. Carnival put out a statement. He'll, all his dates are canceled. He'll never work on the cruise ship again. I imagine his... Club dates are being canceled left and right. Let me make this clear. No video of this guy saying the N-word exists or has come forward yet. No one has come out and said, I heard him say the N-word, except this chick who posted this video of him saying, if you're offended, get the fuck out. Which, by the way, Gabe Lopez says at the Dirty at 1230 every week at the beginning of the show. So, like... Here, here's where it just doesn't pass the sniff test for me. Um, he yells to a crowd. She, he says the N word throughout his set a lot. Okay, okay, so he's just got the N word peppered in his set. A white guy on a cruise ship who's been doing this for almost twenty years. So we got a pro doing cruise ships, which means he can work squeaky clean. Peppering in the N-word through his... Now he might be doing a dirty show. Peppering in the N-word throughout his show. Finally, it gets confrontational. He says, get the fuck out if you don't like me using the N-word. And then the crowd goes nuts. Do I have the facts correct? Okay. It should be setting off alarm bells in your head that that can't be what it is. Right? Like... First of all, he's got his whole set is just peppered with the N word. That sounds ridiculous. Okay. Let's say he does have an N word joke. Tom Segura used to have one. Josh Denny has one. Okay. Let's say they do. In this climate, you announce to the crowd if you don't like me saying the N word, um, get the fuck out. And then the crowd goes crazy. Now, I don't see the crowd backing up this guy using the N-word a lot in 2022. Um, CF says, dude, apologize. Don't apologize. Not worth it anymore. Just confirms that you are guilty and feeds the fire. People don't forgive. It's a religion now. Yeah, I agree with that. But did he? I've looked everywhere. Um, He deleted all his social media accounts. Where did he apologize? Where did he come out? and And what was the joke? What is the context in which this guy's dropping the N word throughout a set? I'd lo- I'd just love to know. I would really love to know. Cu- just curious, just for my own edification, because you're saying he apologized. I've looked everywhere. Rob Rob O'Reilly apology. Rob O'Reilly allegations. And the headlines on these stories are damning. They're like, comedian drops several M-bombs. Comedian caught dropping N-word during set on cruise. It's like, he wasn't caught doing that. The videos don't show that at all. So, like, how is he caught? Um, apparently on the now-deleted social media. Okay, I just need to know more. We're in a very weird, like, cancel everybody all the time for everything instantly. Believe everybody. Get his address.